This video will guide you through the installation of pre-assembled stair panels. Please understand all instructions completely before starting any part of the installation. Prior to starting an installation of any aluminum railing project, ensure you have the proper tools and safety protection. We recommend the following tools and hardware. Appropriate fasteners for mounting posts to deck. Miter saw with carbide tipped non-ferrous blade. Cordless drill. Tape measure. Level. Power cords. Drop sheets. Safety glasses. 3 16 inch drill bit. 6 inch number 2 square drive bit. Stair panel kits include pre-assembled aluminum stair panel, top and bottom rail snap covers, hardware to attach the stair panel to two posts, and an install guide. Stair panels are available in 6 and 8 foot lengths and 36 and 42 inch heights. The actual length of 6 foot panels is 69.43 inches and 8 foot panels are 91.31 inches. 3 inch posts are required to reach 6 foot and 8 foot lengths. Stair railing panels are shipped at a 37 degree angle. Panels are adjustable plus and minus 3 degrees. Maximum post spans on stair railing application. Additional posts are required on any stair application more than 6 feet in length. Each post kit includes an aluminum post tube with attached base plate, post cap, and two-piece base plate cover and an install guide. Post to deck mount screws, anchors, are sold separately. Let's get started. First, we'll plan out and install the three inch posts. Note, using installation jig is only used for level panels and do not work for proper stair panel installation. For stair applications, lower rail clip placement will be measured after posts are installed. Install proper post blocking under each screw location. With 3 16 inch drill bit, pre-drill through deck boards and into blocking. If post cap lighting will be installed, drill a 5 8 inch hole in center of the four deck screw holes to feed lighting wires. Note, if installing post lighting, wiring must be installed prior to securing posts to deck stair surface and installing top rail snaps. Level and plumb posts using shims. For residential wood decks, we recommend the following fasteners for mounting posts to deck. Do not install post caps and two-piece base plate covers until all panels are installed. Temporarily install end stair posts so rail centerline aligns with top stair posts installed. Recommended post locations are shown for the most common installation requirements or applications. Be sure to check with your local code officials before installing stair rail sections or stair rail posts to ensure compliance with local code requirements. Position the post on the same 3-inch center line and temporarily fasten using a single fastener through base plate mounting hole. Check with your local regulatory agency for special code requirements in your area. For all other applications, consult a design professional. Now, we'll install the pre-assembled stair panels. Position the stair railing panel along 3-inch top stair post and temporarily installed 3-inch bottom post. Position the panel approximately 1.5 inches above stair nosing. A helpful tip is to lay a 2x4 board flat on the nose of stair treads. This will allow enough room for installation of bottom snap. Clamp the stair panel against top and bottom 3-inch posts and mark the stair channels at all four locations with a sharp number 2 pencil. Remove the clamps and cut the stair panel at all four locations, taking care to match the appropriate stair angle. Use of miter saw with a sharp non-ferrous blade is recommended. Clean cut areas and apply touch-up paint on all exposed ends. After the stair panel has been cut to proper size and angle, place the panel on a 2x4 board or hold 1.5 inches above stair nosing between the 3 inch posts. Use a sharp number 2 pencil to draw a line across the top of the lower baluster channel in two places. Remove the panel and bottom post, then attach the stair panel attach clips at marked location. Center clip on post and secure with two number 8 by 3 4 inch self-drilling screws. Once the stair panel attach clips have been installed, reattach the lower 3-inch post to the bottom step or landing. 
Then place the stair panel onto the lower stair panel attach clips. After the lower extrusion is fully seated on the lower clips, insert the stair panel attach clips into upper extrusion. Secure the attach clips to the post with two number eight by three four inch self drilling screws. Then secure the upper extrusion to the stair panel attach clip. Repeat this same procedure for the upper extrusion of the lower post. When upper extrusion is secured to both attach clips, secure lower extrusion to lower stair clips with number eight by three four inch self drilling screws on both posts. Following the same angle as the secured stair panel, clamp or hold the top and bottom rail snaps against three inch posts. Using a sharp number two pencil, mark them at all four locations. Remove the clamps and cut the top and bottom rail snaps at all four locations, taking care to match the appropriate stair angle. Use of miter saw with a sharp non-ferrous blade is recommended. Cut 1 16th inch less than opening size. Clean cut areas and apply touch-up paint on exposed ends. Snap each rail snap over the corresponding rail channel until properly seated. The snap cover should snap firmly onto the aluminum railing channels. Do not use a hammer. The top rails will snap by applying pressure from one end to the other. If you're having issues snapping on the covers, check the clips to ensure that they are bottomed out into the aluminum railing channels. ADA handrails may be required for residential deck installations. Check with your local building code official for more information. See separate ADA handrail installation instructions for configurations. Note, if installing a gate kit, see the separate video before installing base plate covers and post caps. Lastly, install the post caps and two-piece base plate covers on all posts. Thank you for watching this video.